They might come there. Yeah. You get it? You have anything to come there for? <coughs> everything today. I confess to Almighty, to Almighty God, God and to my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, our Creator, who give thanks to you, who alone have the power to impart the breath of life, as to form each of us in our mother's womb. Grant, we pray, 
that we who we have made stewards of creation may remain faithful to this sacred trust and constant in safeguarding the dignity of every human life. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the Word of God. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, now our high priest has obtained so much more excellent a ministry as he is mediator of a better covenant, enacted on better promises. For if that first covenant had been faultless, no place would have been sought for a second one. But he finds fault with them and says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will conclude a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their fathers, the day I took them by the hand to lead them forth from the land of Egypt. For they did not stand by my covenant, and I ignore it them, says the Lord. But this is the covenant I will establish with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my laws in their minds. I will write them upon their hearts. I will be their God, and they shall be my people. And they shall not teach each one his fellow citizen and kin, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from least to greatest. For I will forgive their evil doing and remember their sins no more. When he speaks of a new covenant, he declares the first one obsolete. And what has become obsolete has grown old, is close to disappearing. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song. Kindness and truth shall meet. Kindness and truth shall meet. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. Near thee is the salvation of those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Kindness and truth shall meet. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield his increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation along the way of his steps. Kindness and truth shall be. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusted to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up the mountain and summoned those who he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, who he also named apostles, that they might be with him, and he might send them forth to preach and to have authority to drive out demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, whom he named Peter, 
James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom he named Guadagnerit, that is, son of the thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon, the Canaanite, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. About 8.30, this domino principal called me and said, Father, the student cannot get out of school because of rain. They have no umbrella. So all my homily, I told him, I get my homily ready for them. So now we have to preach to the adults. But I'd like to bring this to hopefully all the people at home as well and young people as well today because today I find something that maybe we have to be very brave. Brave enough to be called by God. Brave enough to follow God in our life today. And if you watch the inauguration, that youngest poet, her name is Amanda Gorman. Now our students here, they studied about her just last yesterday, and I wanted to challenge them about this quote that I saw in my Facebook today. There is always light. He said, if, if we bring enough, we will see it. And if we bring enough to be. And so I think today, every one of us call, call to see the light and call to be light. And so today, I think each one of us has to pause on our chest and say, yes, I might call. And God called each one of us for two reasons. First, is to be with God. To be with God. To be with Jesus. And maybe we just stop right there. We don't, we, don't, we don't go somewhere else. We love to be with Jesus. For our own personal salvation, for our own personal uh, happiness. But the second reason we call the apostle is to send them out to preach and to drive in. Now, the second part of the call is very important. And today we we celebrate if not, we pray for life. A lot of us, you know, we call pro-life. But for me though, to be to be called by God at the age of whatever you call them, the age of reason, seven and up, we have to protect and we have to have babies, children. And so today we're not just protecting life. In the beginning, how can we connect that God all the way to the old people today? You know, the pandemic, I feel for a lot of old people, if we're not our elderly people, because of the pandemic, so many of them died. And maybe we don't even think about it. That's why we give that vaccine to people who are over 70 or 75 years old, because so many of them cannot endure this fight. But today, I have a couple right here that I, I can't just preach about life if we don't have a, a husband or a wife or the parents around here. I would love to ask you as parents, how precious is it to have a child in your life? When you see the child, I don't know, so you have to be very brave to have a child, put it that way. You're very brave to nurture them. You are very brave to 
even to embrace them, educate them, and protect them. And even if you have so much to do afterward. And so today, what, what one thing that you want to say about life, about your children, how, how do you feel when you have one child or another child, like in your case now, right now, I don't want to put you there, you in a spot here, but when you have a child, how do you feel when you see them, their life? Anybody? I'll say, you know, they talk about a woman is made from the rib of a man, or a child is made from the heart of a parent. A child it, it's made from the heart it, It's of an man. extraction of your body that is manifested in a child. You, and it's the most sensitive part of your body at that. They are bigger than us. Beautiful. Thank you. Anybody else? How do you feel when you have a child? And I hope today, and I will pray so that those who face in that moment of should I have this or should I abort it? I hope that we pray for them to be brave enough so that they can keep them. So that the truth and kindness will meet. So that love and life go together. We pray so that the family is strong today. So that they be able to live together. So that they be able to love together and protect together. Uh, one another. We pray for our Supreme Court today, we pray for our leaders today that they continue to promote life. And not just the moment of conception, but every life in our, in our history today so that we all celebrate life every day. So let us now just stand and we give God a little bit of our attention. Today, we continue to pray for all the unborn children that already die in different situations, in different cases, in different circumstances, that they continue to be blessed, and those moms and fathers that they also blessed by God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our community today, this school and this church, especially our young children, young people, that they continue to value their lives, learn about their lives, and learn about the world today. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. What else shall we pray today? I'd like to pray for the, the workers and those that advocate for abortion, that they may have a conversion of their soul and forgiveness for their sins. And for those of us that have the time and the capacity to help this cause, that we find our voice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for all the benefactors those who help us to build this church and the school, their families, and protect them and stay with them. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intention of this man's Mildred and God's way. We pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and gracious God, we thank you for calling us and give us this life. Continue to be with us, stay with us, and even to send us to be the light of the world. We pray all this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord, our creation, through your goodness we have received this great offering. Through the earth and what we human hands seek, will we come for us, the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God, about creation and your goodness we have received this morning to offer you. Put the divine in the human hands, it will become for us the spirit of Jesus. Bless be God forever. Right, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all of his holy church. Accept our humble offerings, O Lord of the living, and unite us to the perfect sacrifice of your Son, through whom you have made all creation new, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we are claiming. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in me, holy O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy that all the year to his Christ by setting down the spirit upon him like a new fall, so that it may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and had the wooden link to his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given out for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave it thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate that more of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the challenge of salvation, even thanks that you have covered us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church friend throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael Jerome, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, your servants, all the unborn children, whom you have called from this world to yourself, grant that they who do not live with your son in a death like this may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Jerry, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be your heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
the civic command and formally divide each of you, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from our trespasses. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. So the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share each other's sight. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not my Lord, you through the issue of the end of my Lord, for we say no to the verse of my soul to shall be saved. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe to eternal life. Amen. Is the fountain of life, and in your light we see light. Increase your love within us, Lord God, by the same mysteries we have celebrated, and bring people everywhere to respect your gift of human life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Father.